Watership Down aired on BBC One this evening, and it was the first in a two-part series. The series is based on the famous book of the same name by Richard Adams. There has already been one animated version of the book which was made back in 1978, and it ended up terrorizing people. This year's version has upset viewers but for another reason, the poor animation style. The show is a joint venture between the BBC and Netflix, and it has a rather unusual animation style. They opted for a 2D art style, and it ended up distracting the viewers. One viewer tweeted, Lots of folks declaring the animation on the new Watership Down to be poor? Another viewer added, Couldn't watch more than 10 minutes of Watership Down, terrible animation, it looks cheap and clunky. Another wrote, Watching Watership Down and it, God it just looks so weird. One more viewer tweeted, Wow this BBC adaptation of Watership Down is dreadful. However, other viewers really enjoyed the first episode of the Watership Down remake and took to Twitter to compliment it. One viewer said, Couldn't watch more than 10 minutes of Watership Down, terrible animation, it looks cheap and clunky. Another wrote, Thought Watership Down was brilliantly cast by at RP Casting and at Lily Edgefree. Some beautiful direction and really enjoyed to seeing a closer to the novel, more fleshed out version. Looking forward to the next chapter. Another added, loving the new adaptation of Watership Down, including the detail and the dialogue. Oh, and I did read the book, several times. A fourth viewer commented, OMG, Watership Down was so good. Lovely animation and done brilliantly, just gonna watch part 2 now, they showed first two parts tonight. Meanwhile, James McAvoy has revealed what it was like to be the voice of Hazel, and it turns out he almost passed out whilst voicing the character. McAvoy admitted he almost passed out a few times. His co-star, Gemma Atherton then added, You have to do this pass, it's like an effort pass, which is where you record. Oh, you're running away from a cat now, and you're sniffing the air, and you're running away from a seagull, and you just have to be a child really. And it's always fun, you always do, it at the end because you might hurt your voice because you have to scream and things like that, but it's actually quite liberating, you just have to let yourself be a complete idiot. The second episode of Watership Down will be released on the BBC tomorrow evening, yet Netflix will split the series into four parts and they'll all released at once. Watership Down's second episode will air on BBC One tomorrow at 7.25pm.